Okay, this is my little paddleboard fishing rig here. I rigged it up for fishing along the Guadalupe River here and doing uh, fishing back in the back bays and stuff. But uh, I put a kayak seat on it. And uh, it's got a little storage bag on the back of the seat there. I rigged up a little rod holder there for it. And uh, it's powered by a Mercury Navigator trolling motor. Built a little bracket there. It's on a hinge pin. So when I'm wading in the shallow areas, uh, I can raise the motor up. And it's got very little drag. Up here, I've rigged up a dog leash anchor system. It's actually just an ordinary dog leash with a sand weight on it. And it holds it pretty good. But there's my go button for my trolling motor. And the trolling motor here, when I get in a little deeper water, this pulls back, drops in just like that. And then I've got a hinge on there that I actually unpin this and put it on another boat also. So I've got it just where I can quick change it out. But I've got my pliers and my fillet knife rigged up on my battery box there. And uh, I've also got a fly rod holder that mounts up here where my paddle is at this particular time. But uh, I actually call this one a BSYAD paddleboard. And that stands for better sit your ass down. But uh, I can stand up on it and use it. I just can't use the trolling motor. It's just, it's got way too much thrust for this little rig here. But anyway, it's a lot of fun and it's a cheap way to go without spending a whole lot of money. A few other things about this little uh, paddle board here. The reason I chose this particular type of paddle board is it has retractable fins under it. So when you're going through shallow water, they actually will move up whenever they hit anything. And you can lock them in place and they will pop loose when they do hit something. But anyway, we've added a solar panel on there to keep the battery charged up all day long for those long trips. We added a little dry box here to put our Cell phone, billfold, fishing license, that sort of stuff in. And this up here. Uh, this is actually my fly rod holder. I made that out of some PVC pipe. And uh, installed our fishing stringer. A lot of people have been asking about the anchor system. So there it is. It's a dog leash with just a simple sand weight on the end and that holds really really well uh it's got the little clip on it right there and you can unhook that and i've got another clip that you can put on there and actually clip onto your wading belt so you can let out about 15 foot of line and drag this thing behind you when you're wade fishing. It's a little closer up view of the seat there. And uh, what I've noticed is whenever you're out fishing, you can move all the way up here to the front and sit on the very front of it and dangle your feet off the water to kind of slow it down if you need to. Or if the current's pulling too hard, I've got a different type of weight you can put on there that'll drag on the bottom, and that'll also slow you down a little bit. 